Hey everyone, wanted to show you this really cool Dynamo script that we wrote for a project that we're coordinating. It's a multifamily apartment building project. And one of the challenges of these that we see a lot are the post-tension concrete slabs and all of the penetrations that are going through it. The plumbing subcontractor that we're working with doesn't use Revit and provided me with an awesome point layout on the slab as well as the data on the diameter of each of these pipes. And so I've gone ahead and loaded in the CAD file here in Revit. As you can see, you can see there's a layout point 77, layout point 78 here. And you can see those little green circles around that represent the pipes that I've gone ahead and modeled out using Dynamo. So I just wanted to show you this real quick. The way that it works is that you select the CAD link, you find the layer here, and I, I kind of had to noodle through this a little bit, but the thing that you want to get is the CAD text data from the layers so you can get the name. Anything with a zero value ended up being intersections for grids. So I filtered those out here, as you can see, and then you can get the CAD text data origin point. And what I found was that this point was just slightly off from the actual layout point. It was 0.73828125 feet off and so we translated the geometry to line it back up with where it was on the CAD and you can see this blue point represents the text origin point versus the the place where the pipe was supposed to lay out right here and so we adjusted that and we create lines from the geometry and using all that we create pipes and then we assign the pipe number from the CAD name the next thing that we have to do here is to assign the diameter value based off of the um, off of the Excel sheet that I had. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. So we're gonna come here and look at one of these pipes and see if we can't just set the pipe diameter. There we go. So you can see diameter is a parameter here. And we are going to just play with this just real quick to make sure that my theory is going to work. And I'm going to just make all of them seven because that seems like a lucky number. And I'm going to actually take this little guy right here, hit run, and let's see what that does. Sweet, you can see it increase the size. So this just takes us to the next thing, which is um, get values our values by by key where is it um here we go let's go to dictionary value at key that's what it's called so then what we want to do is find that pipe number value over here and i'm going to bring that over here. Oh, sorry, lie. Um, over here, and then I'm going to connect my dictionary, which I've got back over here. And I'm actually going to go ahead. There's one more thing we have to do, which is to split by delimiter, which in this case is going to be LP. And let's try that. And then perfect, you can see it's dropped that um, LP out of the number here. So that's, that's good. And we're gonna flatten this list. And we're gonna hit run. And we're gonna see what it does. Perfect. Now I've got the diameters for each of my pipes here from my Excel sheet, so that's perfect. Hit run, hit run. Oops, didn't like that. The parameter storage type is not a string. Okay, so integer. Oh, there, there it was, two number. I think, hmm. There it is, two number. String to number, value, run. There we go. 
and you can see this LP77 is called out as a three inch diameter. Let's go check this. So if we go to 0.77, three inch diameter. But yeah, it looks like it's working okay. And pretty excited about that. LP2 is two inches. Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with this. Anyway, uh, if you like this, let me know and we'll talk soon.